Hello everybody, welcome to another video. I gotta be a little quieter because there's stuff happening out there. But um, yeah, welcome back to another video. And uh, today is something I kind of wanted, I wanted to do about two weeks ago, but I got lazy and it didn't happen. And it was um, my mid-season awards. So now I've just taken it to one video, as you can probably already see the title, who's going to be the MVP of this football season. And um, and yeah, I have it broken down into four groups of four groups of players. I think thirteen players in total. And um, I, let's get right into this. I might go away. There we go. Okay, starting off with these dark horses. Like they're great players, but there's very little shot they get the MVP this year. And that is Aaron Donald, Derrick Henry, Lamar Jackson, and Alvin Kamara. Um, I, let's start with Aaron Donald. He is commonly, a lot of announcers say he's probably the best player in football. I disagree with that, but he's top three easily. But I think Mahomes is for sure better than him. Um, and I could probably find a second one, but he, uh, yeah, probably top two. Like, yeah, yeah, not top two, not three, top three, top two player. But um, the MVP award has just turned into a quarterback's race. As you'll see, like after these, after these four, it's all quarterbacks except for one. So, so yeah. So Aaron Donald, he has nine sacks in the season. That's one per game. Fifteen solo tackles, three forced fumbles. Those are pretty, good, pretty good stats for a defensive tackle. But they're just not good enough to hold up with all these offensive studs of players. Next, Derrick Henry. Just an absolute beast. Uh, 201 rushing attempts, 946 yards, which equals to about 4.7 yards per attempt, and 8 touchdowns. These are insane numbers, but the thing is, they're not even the best running back numbers. Um, so I couldn't put them too much higher than this. But yeah, he's, he's an absolute beast. I was expecting a little bit of a drop-off from last year. But there's been, I don't think, like any drop-off. In fact, he's kept that end of the year consistency all the way through so far. And probably lead the, might be able to lead the Titans to another uh, playoff victory or two. Next, Lamar Jackson, last year's MVP. Not doing so well this year. Um, I think, yeah, most people have seen that he's said that defense is just calling out the plays, which is common. Um... Uh, I'm losing a little interest for him, like, he's making up excuses. But, um, but yeah, defense seems to have figured him out a little bit, but he's still putting up great numbers. 64% uh, completion percentage, 1,762 yards, um, 7.1 yards per attempt, 14 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions. And that's not even including his um, rushing totals. Let's see if I can pull those up real quick. But yeah, his um, but his passing numbers aren't bad. Like if you go and look at um, he has one of the fewer um, interception totals out of everybody, out of every quarterback this year. Um, which is really saying something because his passing ability hasn't always been like great. So the fact that he's kept those interceptions down is amazing. Okay, we're... Um, here we go. So yeah, so rushing yards this season. He has 524 rushing yards, 3 touchdowns, um, 5.8 yards per attempt, 58 yards per game. Yeah, not it's not bad running numbers, especially for a quarterback. Um, but yeah, he just hasn't had the season we are all expecting him to have. And neither were the Ravens at 6-3 and three lost to the Patriots. I'm a Patriots fan, and I, that is embarrassing. Um, but yeah, Lamar Jackson comes in as a dark horse. There's still, if he has an insane second half of the year, he will be right in the conversation. And lastly, of these dark horses, Alan Kamara. This man is amazing. Like, he is a top four running, top four. Four or five running back in the league, in my opinion. 
um, just because of his dual threat capabilities. I know we talk about Christian McCaffrey's dual threat capabilities, but Alvin Kamara, he has more yards receiving than he does rushing on less catches than attempts. He has 104 attempts for 486 yards, which is, excuse me, about 4.7 yards per attempt and seven touchdowns. Receiving 67 catches, 648 yards, which is 9.7 yards per catch and four touchdowns. That's 13 total touchdowns. Wait, 11 total touchdowns. <laughs> yes, I'm still in high school. I'm genius. Um, yeah, 11 total touchdowns, 1,000 plus yards. He's just a beast, but he's, there's a, I don't think he's going to win the MVP. I just, I don't think there's a, he's good, but I, he's still not even the best running back. Now the long shots. This includes one of the only non-quarter, the last non-quarterback um, in Dalvin Cook and Drew Brees. Um, I'm going to start with Drew Brees. Because that's what, like, the list I'm going down, that's like my actual ranking. So I have Donald at 13, Henry 12, Jackson 11, Kamara 10, Breeze 9, and Cook 8. Yeah, let's make sure it worked. Yeah, so, um, wait, 13, 12, 11. So yeah, so Drew Breeze at 9. Drew Breeze has honestly had an amazing year, like, considering the fact that he's not bombing it anymore. 74% completion percentage without Michael Thomas, 2,196 yards, 7.40 yards per attempt, 18 touchdowns, and 3 interceptions. Those are insane numbers. Like, there's only two people, like, just the interceptions. There's only two others on this list that have less interceptions than him. Everybody else has at least four more, well, except for Lamar. Um, every, every other quarterback on here has at least four more, I believe, unless I'm, yeah, everyone has four more interceptions than Lamar, or not Lamar, Drew Brees, um, but the touchdowns are a bit lower, hence why he's further down on this list, and the completion percentage and yards are pretty dang good, they just don't compete with everybody else, the, so basically his main selling point is completion percentage and interceptions, but everything else just isn't isn't quite there. Next with Dalvin Cook, um, he has had an amazing year. Like <laughs> just looking, like we all know. So comparing him to Derrick Henry, because that's the best traditional running back right now. Cook has less attempts, but still has. More total yards, more yards per attempt, obviously, and more touchdowns. He has 174 attempts compared to Derrick Henry's 201, 954 yards compared to Derrick Henry's 946, so close, 5.5 yards per attempt compared to Henry's 4.7, and 12 touchdowns compared to Henry's 8. This is just insane. Like, the numbers he's putting up are amazing. The only problem I really see is the Vikings aren't winning enough. I mean, if the Vikings start dominating, Dalvin Cook can definitely jump up to these like real competitors that you'll see soon. Like, he, if he keeps dominating and the Vikings start winning, building a lot of momentum, he very easily could be in the conversation for MVP. But right now, he and Drew Brees are the long shots. So at number seven, Ben Roethlisberger. Um, this, these two players will be in the solid, I call it solid chance. Like, if everything, like, if they keep it up, they'll be in the, con excuse me, yeesh. Uh, they'll be pretty high up in the conversation. They're just not there right now. And that is, uh, yeah, Big Big Ben. Um, he has 66.8% completion percentage, 2,267 yards, 6.8 yards per attempt, 22 touchdowns, and 4 INT. So I was wrong when I was talking about the Breeze interceptions. He's the closest outside of two others, um, two, well, he's the closest outside of one other, um, to Drew Brees' three interceptions, but, um, they're great numbers, and really, I would, t like, if, like, if I just looked at the stats, I'd probably have Dalvin Cook ahead of Ben Roethlisberger, 
but because the Steelers are undefeated, I had to give him the nod up to a solid chance and put him in at number seven, which works well with the number I just realized that. Uh, next six, I have Tom Brady. Um, he's having a pretty dang good year as well. Uh, 66% completion percentage, 2,739 yards, 7.1 yards per attempt, 23 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. His main knock is the interceptions. I think other than that, the completion percentage, good. Yards, good. Um, 7.1 attempt, touchdowns, good. It's just the interceptions really hurt, which is kind of counteracts three of the others I put above him. But then just the, also the storylines. This is also a huge part of this. And Tom Brady has a nice story. Like the, going down to Tampa Bay. Tom, I said on accident. Going down to Tampa Bay and succeeding. It's very amazing. But I think these next five all are just either have better seasons and or have a better story. And these are the guys I call the real competitors for the MVP award. All five of them are quarterbacks. Um... So it makes it a little easier to compare, like in, instead of like last year having to compare Lamar to Patrick to Michael Thomas to uh, to Christian McCaffrey, like having to compare like which one's more valuable. Like this one, it's much easier to compare because they're all quarterbacks. But let's start with number five, Kyler Murray. He and Tom Brady like, easily could have switched or just dropped Kyler down to the solid chance. But um, because yet yeah, his numbers aren't too much better than Brady, if at all better. In fact, the only thing better, only two things are his percentage and yards per attempt. He has a 68.2% uh, completion rate uh, percent compared to Brady's 66, and a 7.6 yards per attempt compared to Brady's 7.1. But Brady beats him in yards by about 400 yards, touchdowns by six, and interceptions by one. Like Brady has one less interception. But one, the one thing that's really keeping Kyler up here this is nine straight games with a rushing touchdown. He has 10 on the season, but I believe it is nine straight games with a rushing touchdown. If not, it's eight. Still, he's on pace to break Cam Newton's record, as is Cam Newton. Like, if the Patriots were doing any better, he'd be on here, too. They're both set to break Cam Newton's record, um, and that's why Kyler Murray is up here. Like, if you have a shot at breaking, like, a legitimate shot at breaking a record, you got to be up here in the real competitors. Um, but, yeah, so that, but he is at the bottom of this tier. Next, Josh Allen at four. Uh, insane numbers. It has, like, just looking at them, they're still pretty impressive. He has a 68.4% uh, completion percentage, which was much higher than anyone thought going into the season he would have. 2,871 yards. Yeah, he has a big arm and now a great receiver. 7.9 yards per attempt, 21 touchdowns, and seven interceptions. Like, those are insane numbers, like, halfway through a season. Uh, well, just over halfway. Like these are very impressive numbers, especially from someone like Josh Allen, who has had um, accuracy tr issues. So seeing the completion percentage higher than even Aaron Rodgers's, Aaron Rodgers, Brady, Breeze, uh, Roethlisberger's, not Breeze's. Breeze has the highest. But seeing that is absolutely amazing, and the Bills are winning. So that's why Josh Allen is up here at number four, and he has the most yards out of every quarterback. Number three, he was my number one up until these last two weeks, Russell Wilson. He started off on fire. I, uh, let me see if, uh, um, if I can pull up um, exactly what I'm looking for. Um, see, leading into that Arizona game, which was um, week seven, so after five games, because they had the bye week week six, um, he had three interceptions, which was not bad at all. And, like, he had just been playing out of his mind. But then he doubled that, uh, doubled the total against Arizona when he had to be through for three interceptions. Um, he didn't have any against San Francisco. But then against Buffalo and Los Angeles, two interceptions, which now puts him up at 10. And I just couldn't keep him up at number one, especially when, I, when you see these other two guys. Um, but Russell Wilson, almost a 70% completion percentage, insane. 2,789 yards, insane. 8.4 yards per attempt, insane. 28 touchdowns, insane. If he just didn't have those interceptions, 
I mean, if you go and look at the Rams game, like that one play, he easily just could have taken it in five, seven-yard gain as a run, but instead he forced a, forced a play for the um, end zone. It wasn't even third down and ended up in an interception. Not good. Uh, something happened. Must have been the kitchen, uh, kitchen equipment. If you don't know what I mean, um, Russ had the let it cook, uh, let Russ cook or something like that, um, kitchen utensils now. He's selling those. So yeah, it might have been that that just threw him off his game. Hopefully he gets back on it. He should at least get MVP votes this year, and that'll be amazing to see. But these top these top two have played insane the entire year. Uh, number two, Aaron Rodgers, 67.8% completion percentage, 2,578 yards, 8.2, excuse me, yeesh, 3.2 yards per attempt, 26 touchdowns, and three interceptions. I Those are just mind-boggling numbers. I mean, the three interceptions through nine games, I think is where we are now. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, nine games. That wasn't my brightest moment. Uh, nine games, that's one every three games. That's just absolutely insane. And he's doing this, for the most part, without Devontae Adams. I know Adams is back, but the, that stretch in between without him, he still played like this great. It's absolutely amazing to see. And he makes a great case for number one. But Patrick Mahomes. Um, missed it. Didn't get the MVP last year for the three-peat now. But 66.9% um, completion percentage. 2,687 yards. 8.2 yards per attempt. 25 touchdowns. And only one interception. That's the thing that really... Like, if you look at Rodgers and Mahomes' numbers, they're about dead even. I mean, the percentage is about 1% off. Uh, yards, Mahomes is winning. Yards per, per attempt, perfect. Uh, Aaron Rodgers does have one more touchdown, but the two interception bonus makes me have to give it to Mahomes. And the Chiefs, outside of that, um, those couple losses have been playing. Oh, is it a couple or is it only just one? I know they lost to the Raiders for sure. I'm just drawing a blank on if they lost. They lost again. Yeah, no, they didn't. Okay, I don't know why I thought they did. Yeah, sitting at um, eight and one. Yeah, eight and one. Amazing year. I'm pressing buttons on my computer. But yeah, I've, I have Patrick Mahomes winning MVP if it's if the season ended right now. And I'm, I'm kind of rushed right now because I got to watch the NBA draft. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing season. Um, but yeah, Patrick Mahomes MVP. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Um, and I hope to see you all later. Adios.